and we're live we're live we're live we're live we're live so it's been a while since we recorded uh gods of night can't wait to upload this shenanigan it's been a few months hasn't it yeah uh, it's been a while yeah so i'm going to uh just sort of uh rec recite what happened last time so you did a big heist the biggest heist in uh, all of heist history yeah at fort downhill you did yeah. manage to lose an item i do remember that yeah no the two items we grabbed were the book of names and mary's mirror i think yeah. it was called mary's mirror yeah. um after a big fight with this it was a naga a naga a after big, a big insane. fight with a naga it, you i guess like a I, I say big fight but really it was like a lot more one-sided yeah it was very much a shoot uh teleport behind you nothing personal kid shoot <laughs> teleport behind you nothing personal kid <laughs> i can't uh, help but imagine this guy's like a freaking pinball yeah, in between I mean, Alagar and his teleportation spells. Yeah, you and you managed to... Whew, his rolls are bad and your rolls were just better. It wasn't... No, my rolls were, like, amazing. Yeah. Everything... Almost every attack hit. Every time he tried a spell, I would break... I wouldn't get affected. Did you even take damage? I think no. he did a little bit. Maybe no. a little bit, but um Yeah, no no, there were some times I took damage. Um Wasn't there also a time where I I, I don't I think I took like maybe a lot of damage or maybe a little damage. At one point it did seem to get a little bit scary. Yeah. But at but by the end of it by the end of it, Alagar did come out on top. He had his cool anime moments when he teleported, and then he had this dumb anime moment right after. Oh, boy. Because after we teleported out of there, all the good rolls I had went to waste because the last roll was an absolutely god-awful roll. Yeah, no, it was... I think when teleporting out, you had to ditch one of your magic items. It was that yes. low. Yes, yes. Uh, um, so I lost. Um, so out of the both the Book of Names and Mary's Mirror, while Mary's Mirror could deflect any spell, I chose the Book of Names uh, for story reasons. Yep. I don't need to worry about spells because I'm already too good. <laughs> yeah. So here, um, which, by the way, after a lot of careful consideration, so so regarding the guy who's always constantly watching me, I don't know if he's constantly watching me or if he's just like sometimes watching me. But point being is, um, regarding that dude, he has been uh, constantly he has been uh, keeping watch of me. And with the book of names, I decided just like I'm just gonna do it because he probably knows I already have it. So there's no point in really not using it. Yeah. So, so yeah. What what information what... did you pull with the book of names? Well, the only thing that I can look into the book of names is uh the only thing I could look from the book of names is that <clears throat> I can only pull up my own name. And I can only and I could choose to erase my name to erase myself from uh clairvoyant powers. From uh... fate. All right. That's now, right. yeah, so one thing I couldn't remember, though, is, like, after I erased my name, could I put it back in, or was it just a one-way trip? It's a one-way so trip, was... I believe. Everyone forgets who you are. You can start make a new name. But... Oh, wait, if I make a new name, will it go right back into the book of names? Yeah. Then... And you can choose to erase it again. Okay, so... Are you saying I have to go in 
But then that doesn't make sense because if I make a new name, I, are, aren't, aren't I still aren't I still like susceptible to to clairvoyant powers then? Um, with the new name, no, because they're tracking a specific person. And if you're erased, it's more of a new identity, if you will. Okay, but so so if I if I just erased my name, but I took it right back up. Yeah. Would I still would they still find me? <laughs> um, because that's that's kind of what I was planning that, to that do. That depends if he knows your new name, which he probably won't. So, like, ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, okay. So I guess so. I have to come up with a fake name. Yeah. To do this, crocodile R. <laughs> so, just to continue with the session. Here. Oh, give me give me one minute. All right. I'm gonna go check if my dog's up at the front. All right. Well, we're here again, folks. We're, uh... We're happily here, performing for you, the new member of the Cre DK crew. I got a migraine, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this game anyway. Uh... I'm going to be real with you while Ben's gone. I have forgotten almost everything from last time. I think I will try to remember. What else is going up? All right. Done. All right. Dog was out front. I got the dog. You got dog? Yes. So. Real quick. Uh, to, to narrate where you left off. You are now heading by your wagon. Filled with your goblin band. Of thieves and mercenaries to Dreamsville. Uh, I'm. Tr oh yeah, that's right. You were recruiting, is what I last remember, and you were able to recruit uh, the Naga Cobraska, the people of Cobraska, and the people of. Uh... I'm trying to. Remember. I think it was just Cobraska. Oh, was he? Was he a Naga? I thought it was a Tiger Demon. Oh yeah, no, no, no! And Cobraska was the tiger demon guy who's disguising himself as a snake, giant snake man. And Fort Downhill, you fought a giant snake. Fort Downhill, I fought the Naga. He yeah. and he's dead for now. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if he's coming for me though. Not sure, but okay. Go. Yep. Go on. So, uh, Dreamsville. You approach this town. It's covered in this sort of pink, hazy fog. Uh, it's almost impossible to see through if it was not for the lights uh, on the streets. The town almost looks abandoned despite its size. Yes. Um, you do notice... Uh, what? Right. I'm going to say this is a fur bug woman looking out her uh her door or her window and immediately catching eye eye contact with you uh they duck down yeah okay this is weird um, 
Every, everyone is gone from the streets. What do you want to do while you're in Dreamsville? Mm, everyone is gone. Yeah, no one's on the streets. Give me one minute. Okay. Oh, all right. There we go. Well, first, I went first. Uh, I go and proceed to erase my name from the book of names. Are you sure you want to do that? Right well, now. Fuck. There are other side effects to it that I have not gotten into. If I don't do it now, then like. Fine. Um, why do you do this to me, Connor? Yep. <laughs> okay, here. Um, I want to go and take a look at. I want. I'm gonna go and take. I want to perform some uh, a group insight check with my crew. All right. Or Arcana check. Arcana check. All right. Yes. Me, Twinkie. Just like everyone help out. Like we gotta figure this out. Twinkie rolled a nineteen. Um Twig will attempt to help as well. I'm not good at this stuff, but I can try. Huh? He rolled just as good as you. Yes. So can we figure out everything from uh, this book? Twinkie, uh, then you know, presses digitates a little bit of the scene. Or are you observing the book or the town? Um, we're observing the book. The book. Uh, I want to know about those unco those com those side effects. Uh, the side effects. Yes, what other side effects are there from, aside uh, from the Twinkie uh Prisa digitates to you a little scene of you know you you erasing your name and the, it it looks like little toys of all of you. Mhm. Mm uh and it illustrates a scene where you erase your name. But Twinkie and uh, Twig uh, seem to not notice where you are or that you're even there or know who you are. <sighs> Wait a minute. But he still holds all his power. Hmm. You, uh, you're, you know, he illustrates the, you know, the weird, uh, what was his name? Chet or something. Yeah, Chet. Chet Radian. Yeah. Uh, he, he has a little doll of him where he's like, uh, he makes the little doll shrug, but where he can't tell where you are, but neither can your friends. So, so if I... If I erase my name, I'm gone. Not uh, gone. From what you can gather with uh, Twinkie explaining things to you, it's more of everyone will forget who you are. Which he illustrates even Twinkie and Twig will forget who you are. Mm-hmm. But you're immune to divination. As, you know, the plus side to it, but everyone doesn't know who you are anymore. Which you would have a lot of contingencies to worry about. That is very interesting to know. Okay. All right, yeah, no, we're gonna hold off on that. 
All we'll right. hold off on that. No, we'll hold off that. We're not going to worry about the book of names just yet. That's good, because you hear a pounding uh, of of cobblestone underneath a giant foot in the distance. Uh, and then uh, fog being blown towards you with a breath. Um, a goblin is running down the street. Don't, don't let it get you. Don't. It's not one of yours. Yeah, I know. I still have my goblin crew with me. Yeah. Um, he's sort of a purple tinted goblin. He's like, don't let it get you. Don't let it get you. Don't let it. And let me double check something with this. Uh, this thing, this sort of, as the goblin runs towards you, it sort of, uh, collapses into a sleep, and then it shrivels up in front of you. And... Oh. And dies. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Oh, oh no. And oh, then the no. creature just simply walks away. You hear a, a weird sound effect of you. is like where the giant's footsteps then turn into much smaller footsteps. And run away from you. Um. All right. <clears throat> we're gonna let that go. So we're gonna need to investigate the situation. All right. Um, a... is, is there anything along the lines of a? A symbol of authority's office. Uh, leader of elder. It, that fear bulb woman from earlier. Goes, fear bulb? They're they're like a blue sort of bigger elf, sort of lady. They sort of a goat face almost. A dumb face. Um, I'll send you a picture of what a fear bulb looks like. Um. At least in this edition. Um, except it is a lady. Uh, and not. Similar, similar hair to the picture I'm going to send you, but. Uh, she motions for you to, you know, come into her house. Come in. She whispers. Okay. Okay. Hey, boss. Should, should we go in too? Should we go yes. in? Um. <clears throat> yes, Twig. Twig and Twinkie, you're with me. The rest of you guys watch the stuff. No, it's scary out here, boss. Let's go. Uh, uh, I just bring my party in with me. I leave the crew. I leave the goblin crew. Outside. To guard stuff. Yes, I leave the goblin crew outside. All right. So, the woman, uh, her house is. It's a pretty nice abode. Uh, you know, it's a nice little flat. She whispers. Uh, to be careful out there. Hmm. Yeah, what was that earlier? That was the Baku. He's been scaring our streets for a while now. He he sucks the dreams right out of you, and once that happens, you just sort of shrivel up. <sighs> That's it, uh, if he can put you to sleep, that is. Mm-hmm. 
All right. If he can put you so if he can't put you to sleep, he's worthless then. No, 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 no. He's very big. Mm, size doesn't really worry me. Here. Is there anyone else is there anyone else who knows more about the situation? The elders have told everybody to stay inside. Careful around what doors you enter. If you're not invited in, it this place is magical. All right, all right, um, all right. Where can I find the elders? Uh, she tells you that there is a big clock tower that acts as city hall, if you will, the Dreamsville. Okay. So get to the clock tower. Get to the clock tower. It doesn't sound that bad. Yep. Yeah. Uh, she's like, go to the biggest one. You've you've noticed in your entire time in Dreamville, there are a lot of clock towers. There are a lot. Of there are a lot of clock towers here. Yeah, but she tells you to go to the biggest one. Can I see it from here, outside the window? No, it is foggy. As hell. Do you have a map? She writes you up some directions. I'm going to have you uh, roll, you guys roll survival as uh, a, uh, as a, uh, you know, with advantage because of the map. So give me that roll, Ben. Uh, uh, what was the roll again? You cut. Survival. All right, good enough. Uh, with the 19, yes, definitely good enough. Uh, you managed to direct your crew. The goblins look absolutely terrified in here. Boss, this place gives us the creeps. Don't worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> uh, Twig's like, I, I don't know, sir. It's, you know, Elga. It's, uh, the bits foggy here it's not really easy to see and the fact that we saw a little goblin guy earlier get you know sucked up is not very good listen listen trust me we're gonna be fine all right can i sh should i make i i i want to calm down my crew uh roll me a persuasion check real quick like, guys, calm the fuck down. We ain't gonna worry about shit. Yeah, that was a nat 20. So everyone's like, yeah, boss, you showed, you showed him. You could break in the foot downhill. You could do anything. Yeah, exactly. Boss. Even Twinkie gives you a thumbs up. So, you head towards City Hall. And you start to hear little, uh, Footprints running towards you. A woman. Let's say that she is a shifter. They're kind of fuzzy. Uh, shifter lady run towards you. And she's like, please, please help. Please. The fuck? Oh no, I got disconnected. Come on. Oh, wow. Discord's doing a big fucky walky. Let's reconnect. Oh, boy. So, crew. It's a good thing I wasn't streaming this. Or we would have been boned. Alright, sweet. 
Discord should be back up in a little bit. Hey, Ben, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, what was the last thing you remember me saying? Um, last thing I did, we not 20 and I asked you how I, I not 20 I told everyone to quit the scared shit. You went, you were silent. Okay. I apologize. Just to recap you, I don't know how long my internet was dead for, but they, uh, your crew's like, yeah, you, we got it, boss. You can escape from Fort Downhill. You, you, you can do anything. But he's like, yeah, boss, you, you've never straight as, straight as, you know, wrong before. Twig, Twig actually gives you, uh, I'm sorry, Twinkie gives you a, a thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Yep. Great. Uh, how long, how much longer till we're at the clock tower? Yeah, you, you approach and a, you know, you start to hear footsteps from the fog, uh, of a woman, a scared woman running through the streets. She looks a bit emaciated. What does that mean? Uh, hungry. Uh, okay. Very tired, skinny. Looks like they haven't had food in a while. The woman who look appears to be a uh, shifter is another D and D race. Oh, we're, we're the first shifter I've seen this entire time. Yep. All right. She runs towards you and help the Baku. The Baku is after me. I went outside because I was so hungry and I thought I could find some form of food, and it started chasing me. You gotta help me. Um, okay. Here. Uh, okay. Try to open the... Try to o try to get us all invited into the clock tower. Um. She's like... She, uh, knocks on the door. Let us in! Let us in! She starts panicking. The Baku is after us! You might want to... Uh... There's a little, like, slider on the door, like, eye slits. You can't come in here. No, sir. Why not? Nope. Baku's out there. So, if we got rid of the Baku, you'll, you'll let us in? Yep, get rid of the Baku, we'll let you in. Okay. How big, so can we see the Baku from here? No, strangely. Uh-huh. She's like, it's let us it's in. It's definitely magical, though, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, Twinkie. Okay, I look at I look over at Twinkie. Twinkie. You know. Twinkie. Twinkie, get a feel for the area. Look for feel for anything magical. Uh, Twinkie. Or anything strangely magical. Twinkie casts detect magic. Uh. He's looking for something in spe uh, specifically. I imagine the area itself is magical itself. Yeah, so it's so throwing I'm looking things for, off a little bit. So I'm looking for something. So I know it's going to be throwing things off, but I'm looking for something that's going to throw things off in a in a weird way. The he, if you notice if you notice any any different patterns, let me know. He points at the lady. The shifter lady. Is there anything else? He's like, his his eyes are sort of gone wide, and he's sort of like, mm, mm. he he starts backing up, ready ready to cast something against them. Okay. Well, I trust Twinkie. Uh, Twinkie. Cast. Oh boy, what are Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is it is she in disguise? Uh, Let me If she's in disguise, can I look at something for she, that? Yeah, she uh she looks at Twinkie's like, "What is he doing?" Okay. We got to get in here. C can you convince the I know we need to destroy the Baku, but please, I can't starve out here. Um, can I roll an insight to see 
Yeah, roll me, mm. roll me insight. Well, hot damn. Uh, Twinkie, like, readies a firebolt at them. And, All right. And she's like, what are you doing? Can you tell him to stop? I don't want to die out here. And you could alert the Baku. You're too so, late. So, all right. Um, so, did, what did my insight tell me? She's lying? Uh, she's, she's not who she appears to be. Don't worry. Okay, so, like, uh, don't worry. We got this. I just need to step away from the door just a little bit. Uh... Twinkie launches a firebolt at them. Mm, fine. And out of self-defense. And let me see if that actually hits. Yeah, no, it does. It does. <laughs> it does four damage as it peppers her back. She slumps to the ground. And why did you let him hit me? He drop starts the trying. Just like drop the charade. All right, yeah. And I shoot and I shoot her. All right, roll the attack. <laughs> Damn. Uh Wait. She managed Was this it was it that her back? Is her back still to us? Uh, she slumped on the floor, which would be prone, kinda, but is that... ranged attacks don't have advantage on prone enemies, so. Okay. Eleven, uh, um... she manages to swat her arm, knocking the bullet away. <sighs> and she, uh, gets herself up as her arms and legs to sort of grow out, her neck elongates. Well, it was worth a try. Uh, his neck elongates. He has sort of a tapier face. With a trunk. His teeth become big and gnarly. He, he almost looks, uh... I don't know. Yeah. His big footsteps, uh... You know start cracking the ground, and then he lifts himself up into the air, floating. And he goes, Well, I didn't really want to eat you now. I was going to wait for you to convince them to let him in. Let me in so I could eat them inside their house. But there's a nifty little thing with Dreamsville. If you don't open the door, or if you open the door, you could end up somewhere else. But, you know, the only you way... You don't to... open the door. So wait, if you, you mean, you don't get invited, you don't open the, you get, end up somewhere else. Pretty much. You know, I could have gotten my way in if you weren't, you know, such a goody two-shoe hero about trying to kill the Baku. But then again, I'm just gonna eat cheese now. All so, right. So. So here, like. All right then. So. It, who is this, can I tell who his attention is focused on? You. Okay. Um. You and Twiggy. I'm gonna signal. I'm gonna signal. Does he know? Does he really notice Twig and the other goblins yet? Not yet. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Initiative? Yep. Um, I'm going to roll his initiative. Okay. You, Twig, and Twinkie will go on your turn. Uh, you go first, and then it's the Baku's turn. Oh, wait, I rolled. I rolled all my team's initiatives. Yeah, I'm just gonna be have you be the team here. So just for ease sake. Um here, I was just I'll just go just I'll I'll just go pull this up just so I could Oh god, they don't even have 
I, yeah, no, I can't access that shit. Okay. All right. Great. So you have Twig Sheet. I don't have access to Twig Sheet. What do you mean? I, I think I've given that. Yeah, no, you should. Oh. Uh... I made a fucky wucky. Yeah, you should have access to it now. All right, here. Um, Let me which, give you access way, to Twinkie Sheet as well. Uh, I took a look at Twinkie Sheet. There's not really a sheet there. It's. All right, what did you do? Uh, roll Twigs Initiative. All right. All right, and Initiative is just Dexterity, correct? Yeah. The six. So, so yeah. Twinkie's going last. Yes. Which is like going first on the next turn. <laughs> anyway. Okay. So. First up, Twig. What do you want Twig to do? Okay. Twig. What is his strength? A five, a five, five. Yep. Great. Amazing. All right. So I need this. I need someone. So I, he has powers I don't know about. Okay. Can Twig jump on his back? Yeah. Can Twig jump on his back and like get his arm around his neck? Kind of like throw off his concentration? Yeah. Roll me athletics. And I'm going to have the Baku roll athletics as well. All right. Damn. Even with a plus 10. All right. So, Twig manages to sneak up, grab the Baku's, one of the Baku's arms, and sort of, like, pulls it behind his back. So now the Baku has one less attack he can make on his turn. Congrats. Uh, Great. The twig is stuck there, though. That's fine. Now it's my turn. Yep. All right. I'm going to order the goblins to work on forcefully opening up the door. Uh, the goblins take out a battery ram. It's, you're not sure where they got it, but... <laughs> I mean, they're very prepared. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, so how long do you think it's going to take before them that it's going to take them a while to open up that door, correct? Yeah. I'm going to roll it like a straight uh, D20 roll. Uh, for, you know, once it gets over three, uh, three times over 10 on a D20 roll, that's when they have broken through the door. Okay. All right. 13. All right. That's going good so far. All right. Uh, next so, up. Is... Oh, I thought. Oh, was that one command? Was yeah. that one command my entire turn? Uh, I'm going to say you have one action because talking is sort of a free action. So you're just okay. telling them to do something. Okay. As, you running in, as you're running into action. Okay. Um. See. All right. I guess the fir first thing I'm gonna do then is, uh, if I use the gun with Twinkie on his back, with Twig on his back, that could something could go wrong. But, um, he's pretty what? thick. Like this to show you what a Baku looks like. Um, cause, so, I am thinking of using, I was thinking of using the, uh, the lightning damage b based, uh, persuader, but I don't want to, Twig is Warforged, right? It's not, lightning doesn't affect him? Uh, lightning does affect him. It's poison he has resistance to. Okay, but and if I hit the uh, Baku with lightning, it would affect him too. Yeah. 
Okay. So, so um, I am if, a little bit... Uh, depends on the kind of spell you're doing. My, it was lightning breath. Oh. Um, I'm going to say that Twig has cover, so you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then. For the last one, uh, the Persuader, lightning imbued. All right. All right. What's your roll? 20. Twenty. Yep, that hits. Roll damage. All right, and that's a total of. Let me see how much healthy. So, so uh, he's prone and grappled, correct? Yep. That's a lot of. Uh difficulties right there yeah uh it is his turn now all right uh so you've done a total with uh twinkie's help uh a total of 21 damage he's yeah. still kicking though uh he makes a swipe at you. Okay. I didn't move though. And so I get advantage. Yeah, no, he uh he missed. Uh, <laughs> he claw he attempts to try to claw you with his free hand, but Twig manages to get him. Uh let go of the other hand for just a moment just to hold back the swinging one. So he's alternating. Uh, uh he then attempts uh, a bite. He floats towards you. Floats? Yeah, he floats. He hovers. Bro, uh, how much does Twig weigh? If you can't keep, how much does this guy? This guy's large. This thing's about like, like nearly twenty feet tall. Okay. He gonna try to bite you. This is a seventeen hit. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, 17 meats. Alright, so it does hit. It does a total of uh, 13 damage to you. As okay. you start feeling woozy, but are able to sh uh, sh shriek it off. Next up is Twinkie. Uh, Alright. What spell do you want Twinkie to cast? Let me pull up his sheets. Uh huh. Attributes. Uh, let me see. Does he only. Okay, here he is. He has magic missiles, detect magic. He has mage armor up right now. Like when he backed up from uh, the lady, he was activating uh, mage armor. I want to know what is this? Uh, if a spell was cast at him, and it was spell, uh, and the spell was third level or lower, it has no effect. So, do I, here, is his sleep, is the Baku sleep ability, uh, passive, or is that active? Um, does he have to actively actively cast a spell, or is this something that happens throughout all his actions? Yeah. Um, it's something that happens through. You know, he he does have to down you, which that guy from earlier was pretty much like on his last legs, passed out, and then he did his dream eater ability on him. Okay, so until so I don't have to worry about it until I actually get down to zero HP or yeah. if I somehow fall asleep earlier. Yeah. Okay, so here. All right. So he's I'm grappled, correct? Yep. In his jaw. 
Uh, no, you're not grap. Wait, let me see. Yep, it grapples you. So he has you. Uh, yeah, in his mouth right now. All right then. Um, here. He he actually he's like ni he's nibbled on your tail. He has you wrapped up in his trunk. Like a giant elephant creature. Okay. Uh, here. To get a good here. Let's see if this works. Um, ha he has all his spells here, correct? Yeah. All right. So because of this, I want him to cast a magic missile at level five, and I want I want I want it to be directed towards his throat. You cannot like target with magic missile, unfortunately. Okay. It's just then... it peppers wherever it peppers. Um but casting at level five is a shit ton of damage. So I know, but would it be enough for him to would it be enough to shock him? We'll see. Uh, um well what you can cat well hold up. Is a Baku What do we know about a Baku? Uh, you know, he floats, he looks like an elephant, he can change shape. Is he resistant or weak to anything in particular? Uh, roll me Arcana. Me or Twinkie? You. Twinkie would not have time to... I, I'm not gonna figure that out. Uh... You can't tell what he's weak to. I uh, can't even tell what he's uh can't even tell like if he has like a natural element. Yeah, there. From what you can tell, there's no natural element that he's immune to. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, weak to. Immune wise, uh, it most likely is like psychic effects. Right, because he's a dream mean. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> here. He probably can't be knocked prone because he float. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um. Magic missile level five. Go. All right. I'm gonna roll that damage for him. So. Oh. Uh, oh, I mean, like, is that? That's only one. Yeah. Keep keep rolling it. You get three to start with. Four. Five. And you How get a more? missile every time. So it's three at first level, four at yeah. second level, five at third, uh, uh six at fourth, seven at fifth. And this is all of it? Yeah, so that's a total of uh five ten, fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. Plus six, that's 20 damage. Just straight up, no negation. So, you've pet, you know, Twinkie unlo unleashes a barrage of magic missiles. And it hits decently, but it's sort of a, uh, uh, it peppers him all over. He still has you in his jaws, though. Okay. Now it's Twig's turn. It is Twig's turn. Okay. He's still so because he's floating up, because he's hovering, is like am I imagining his belly is facing towards the ground like like a parade float? Kinda. Especially so, after being hit with all those magic missiles. Okay. So that means Twig that means Twig like uh Does that mean like the grapple is even working? It's preventing him from what uh doing his maximum of three attacks. So he only does two. Yeah. Okay. All right then. Here, I want I want Twig to keep grappling, but is there anything else he can do on top of that? He could try to pin. It wouldn't knock him prone, but he could probably disable another attack. Let's then we're going to go or, for a pin. Or you could pull a Shadow of the Colossus and start stabbing. What? It's a shadow of the Colossus and start like stabbing him at the head. Yeah, 
that was my set that was my first idea but i also don't want twig to fall off yeah so roll me athletics for twig here oh to see if he still grapples yeah if it if it turns into a pin So, are we still stuck on grapple? Oh, wait, I'm gonna on. say your 27 manages to get him at the head. Oh wait! Oh wait! I was taking my. I was using advantage. Yeah, because he's currently grappling you, and he already has one arm behind his back. So this scene already looks pretty ridiculous, as it's sort of <laughs> you're in his mouth. Twigs on his back. Magic missiles are being thrown. It's being spun in the air at this point. I'm going to say he can't use his bite attack anymore. So, but I'm still pinned? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, can I, I still have my I still have my arms out though? Yeah. Okay. So you're then. restrained. You can't move. Unless right, you then. contested it with your own athletics check. Mm, maybe. But I have a better idea. I want to use Bataglia. All right. Meaning that I could just teleport out of the grapple. All right, you do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm teleporting out of the grapple over his back in order to get the push. Yeah. Uh, cause let's see. Uh, the array, so 10 feet. All right. And well, yeah, no, my, my patented signature, nothing personal kid. That hits. <laughs> to blast him towards the ground. Yeah. Uh, He'll take an extra d6 of fall damage. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, roll, roll the persuader damage. Oh, wait. Um, don't forget. Uh, he has to, no, he has to succeed the saving throw. Okay, what is the saving throw? Uh, strength. I'm assuming um, he succeeded the saving any throw. Any larger. So the saving throw is based on my spell. spell save correct yes or my spell save is 16 he did succeed it yeah you still shoot him in the back so roll me no extra d6 just roll me the straight damage unless wait hold up what was my thing again bataglia no 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 I'm, uh... hold up no wasn't there a thing where I could increase my saving throw. Let me. Cause I remember using that a lot in the Baga, Baku. You mean the Naga? The, the Naga. Okay. Yes. As part of this bonus action, you can expend one of your rules of Bardic Inspiration to roll a Bardic Inspiration die, and adding the number roll to the save DC. I can choose to use this feature after the creature makes this roll, but before the DM announces if it succeeds or fails. So, I'll allow it. All right, so I use one bar against pressure. I have to roll a d6, and I have to beat 19? Yeah. Add it together. 20! All right, you knock him to the ground. Roll me an extra d6 damage uh, on top of your normal... That's another 20. 20 damage. And at that point, the Baku has had enough. Well, it's not, Oh, wait. It is his turn. Wait, fuck. It is his turn. Yep. I, wait, wait. I only done one attack. I bataglia Is Bataglia... Bataglia is a bonus action. Yeah. So I use my bonus action and my attack action. Yeah, I'm going to say the move action was your uh, bardic inspiration right here. Just for the sake of, you know. I guess because I did it after. Yeah. 
So okay. Uh, next up, it is his turn. I'm gonna roll a d6. Oh, don't forget the d10 for the. Don't forget the d20 for the, the bar for the bar, the battering ram. Oh, you're right. Nope. Nope, not yet. Okay, you're lucky this time. But the Baku, who is pretty pissed about being grappled and like shot in the back and peppered with stuff, he wants to reposition himself, or at least try to escape. He, uh, as a bonus action, uses Ethereal Jaunt. And Twig falls to the ground. Ethereal Jaunt? Yep. What the hell is... So he goes tra transparent. And Twig falls to the ground. Interesting. So Twig takes a d6 of fall damage. Wait, how does he do d you six? He's already on the ground. No, Twig was up in the air trying to pulling his arm up behind him. How thick is this boy? He's super thick. I told you he's twenty feet. Okay, great. All right, great. Twig lost two health on ninety nine. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. And the Baku, you can see his transparent outline just sort of trying to run away. Mm, trying to run away? But yeah, he's, he's, he's moving like 60 feet and around. Uh, I don't know if I should let him run. I, we can't let him run. We already have his, like, we already have his ass, don't we? Uh, he's about halfway there. What? I, know, I was looking at, I'm looking for things that could get me into the ethereal plane, but... Uh, how... blink, blink is one of those spells. I don't have, I don't have blink, I just have dimension door. I mean, you can use it to catch up with him, because pretty soon it's going to wear off. Mm. He's making a tactical retreat. All right. Mm. Chase. If he if, if we chase after him, we might be able to kill him. We're already doing good. Yeah. All right. So, All right. what's your I'm going to call All right. First off, I'm gonna call the goblins off. Call the goblins off from from the, from the door. Yeah, what's up, get, boss? Get the carrot. Get the carriage ready. We're chasing this thing. All right, boss. Next up. So, um, can I take? How big is Twinkie? Twinkie is small. He's actually a little bit smaller than your goblin guys. Probably. Okay, uh, here. Then I, I tell Twig to get into the carriage of the goblins. And I bring... I'm going to pick up Twinkie. Do I have to rule strength, or can I just pick him up? Um, You can just pick him up. He's, he's light. Okay. I still have all my spells. I also have a fifth spell that I never bothered to put in here, but th we'll talk about that later. And I'm going to start... I still see him? I still see the Baku? Yeah, you can still see him. Alright. We're going to, we're going to, like, dimension door our way up. And I'm going to dimension door my way up ahead to keep up with him. Yeah. And I'm hoping the... And I'm telling the others to follow, to follow suit. Yeah. At full speed. You do. Uh, and they start chasing after him as well. Uh, so you teleport in front of him? 
if if I can, sure. Uh, what spell are you using? Oh, Dimension Door? I use Dimension Door to teleport ahead of him. Alright, you do so. Uh, by the time he reaches the end, he went back to being transparent. Or, All right, or not transparent anymore. All right. The cart is slowly catching up. Um, and when load. I teleport, when I teleport up in front of him, yeah, his turn is over. Yeah, he used a he used a double move to try to get away from you. Here, what is what is this? What's Ice Storm? Ice Storm is a. <clears throat> I click on it. Because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, let's see this then. Um, well, I mean, I guess it's it's a, it went into level. F okay, there we go. Um, a hail of rock hard ice pounds to the ground in twenty foot radius, forty foot high cylinder centered on a point within range. Each group creature in the cylinder must make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, so we immediately teleport in front of him. I hold Twinkie out while he casts. Like a puppy. It's like, like, like Simba. Imagine, like imagine Simba. Simba. <laughs> like Simba from the Lion King as he casts Ice Storm. All right. Uh, the Baku has to make a deck saving throw. Yes. Oh, you should pick the one saving throw he's not good at. All right, roll me. Uh, Two okay, so when you cast this using a slot, um, well, I guess I want to do a five. So I want no, I, you cannot level cast four. it as a level five spell anymore. You casted magic missile, and he only has level one, level five slot. Right, 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 right. Thank you, thank you. So so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about higher levels then. So yeah, two d eight bludgeoning damage and forty six cold. Yes. Okay, so here, 2d8 right now, 7. All right. 4d6 now. All right, that's a minus 27. So you... And now he's in, now he's in difficult terrain. All right, which wouldn't really matter all that much because he float. <laughs> but he was running. So Ho he's hovering. I'm sorry if that. <laughs> Damn it! Fine then, but we stopped his ass anyway. Yeah, you did. And he is going. Uh, Twig and the rest managed to catch up, and you know, he's basically cornered in between you two. Um. Okay. Uh. Twig Simply put. It's the Baku's turn now. What do you mean? It's Twig's turn. Oh, it's Twig's turn. You're right. What does Twig do? Um, he's just is it? Is a Baku still hovering? Yeah. Okay, then we're going out the longbow. He's going to he's going to use all his actions to longbow him as many times as he can. All right, do it. Um, he gets two attacks right now. Two. Yeah. 22, 23. He also has action surge to get another two if you wish. Another two? Yeah. Yeah, so that all of them hit with normal damage. Okay, so because like none of them are advantage? Yeah. Cool. So 13, 16. Plus 11, 27, plus 12, 39, plus 14, 43. All right. I'm trying to... Let me look at Twig's sheet real quick. I need to figure something out. Why? I want to know if it's a magic bow or not. Twig... Um, what is, he's proficient with a longbow, correct? Yeah. I just want to okay. know if it's a magic weapon. Okay, so brute force then. Oh, it is. Uh, describe Twig's kill of the Baku. 
So while he's getting fucking bombarded <laughs> with the eyes in front of him, Twig comes up. He doesn't. He launches himself. And he jumps up, launches himself in the air. Basically, four arrows at once, and hits them all directly on his cheeks. All in the butt. <laughs> Into his supple butt cheeks. The Baku's <laughs> last words being. My cheeks! My, My cheeks! cheeks. <laughs> As he falls down, being pelted with ice still. <laughs> and pin cushioned with arrows. <laughs> Alright, and the Baku has been slain. The Baku has been slain. You did it. You head back. I'm assuming you guys head back to uh the Yeah, tower. we're head I I'm gonna head back to the clock tower because I mean I came here to recruit, so I gotta go and have it so hopefully this will work as a bargaining chip. Uh you knock on the door. <laughs> oh no, dude, there was like way more damage he that he could have done. Like extra D fours. Oh shit, you're right. I yeah, forgot no, about like, that. Brute force, like anyway. So, yeah, we're we're knocking on the door again. Uh you do so. Uh the guy at the door goes, "What do you want?" Uh Baku's dead. The Baku's dead? Baku's dead. Baku's dead. Excellent. Yeah. Uh he the door opens. Come inside. Come inside. Yes, please. Uh, okay, this time I bring the entire gang in. Alright, you bring the entire gang in, and inside is a Etten man, who is a two, two-headed guy, a two-headed giant, uh, who's living in a, uh, hilariously smaller home meant for someone probably smaller, but he's, like, still standing at, like, 12 feet tall and using a table normally. Uh... Both of them, uh, both heads look like carny, uh, carnies. Like, step on in! Step on in! Okay. Uh, one is a little bit more flamboyant than the other. Sure. Okay. They're like, you killed the Baku! Congrats! Uh, yeah. we reward you with something, but, ever, you know, we would have, haven't been out tending our fields and making wonderful magic fruits and whatnot. And meat. That's, that's fine. That's fine. I was looking for something. I wasn't going to be asking for any of that anyway. Oh, excellent. I've been starving for the last two <laughs> days since the Baku's been here. The Baku's been here for a month. You can imagine how much food I've wasted. <sighs> Why did a Baku come here in the first place? <gasps> asking oh that's simple you see here in dreamsville the fog here has a certain magical property sometimes it induces sleep sometimes it'll get people lost and you know there's a special thing about doors here in D dreamsville the whole teleporting somewhere else thing yes exactly are we talking like somewhere else in dreamsville or somewhere in the map it it depends. What door did you use? Well, let's say let's say we use the clock door, for example. Oh, that's simple. That would have teleported you probably to the other part side of the continent. <laughs> Who knows? I use I live here, so and I I do have the deed. Uh, he pulls out a you know sort of prejudicates a magic contract and then makes it poof away. I kind of want to buy like a small tent. I kind of want to buy like a town here because that sounds like an awesome security system. It's pretty, it's a pretty good security system. So. Anyway. You, know, you, you were asking for something earlier. <laughs> yes, yes. We came here... You see, we, me and my travelers here, um, my, 
what was the word for it again? Compatriots. You know, like, compatriots. Uh, apostles. Yeah, I think that was it. You were trying. Yeah, your apostles. My, you see, my apostles and I here are on a holy quest. Oh, you're a religious man. <laughs> yes, I go and give him the spiel of Ermos, the god, the one true, quote, the quote unquote true god, Ermos. Roll me persuasion. I thought I, could, I thought I could just do this. They're a little bit. <laughs> I, I have a, don't I have advantage because I told the story so many times. I'm gonna say they're, they're like interesting. They don't believe. Are we using the are we using the thirty two or the fourteen? Connor? The, four, the fourteen. Why Connor? <laughs> they are. They are two heads. <clears throat> one well, of them, got... One of them is on board. The more flamboyant one is on board. Wow, this Urmos guy sounds great. It sounds fine to me. What are you talking about? It sounds amazing. I thought and, uh, it sounds a little weird. No, like, whatever. Anyway, darling, what do you want? Well, we're trying to lib um we're trying to liberate the people of uh what was my whole thing again? Uh Sunshine uh Spire. I know Sunny Sunnyside Spire. I know Sunnyside Spire, but was the whole goal of like the whole thing I was advertising of liberation, or I believe it was a liberation, or I believe you were doing liberation as your goal. Because let's see, I talked with uh, I haven't talked with Hillwevia. I the goblins barely know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, they're they're just along for the ride. Um, oh my god, like. The, the that night dude I found earlier just agreed to me no matter what I said. Yeah. This is the first time I'm actually giving out a reason. Actually. Because the guy in Cobraska, he already knows what I'm trying... Like, yeah, that even... was more of a thing where he's like, don't tell my secret, I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> and it's like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to overthrow Chet. <laughs> that guy's a dick. Oh, no, 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 not, 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 not that guy, not that guy. No, but this is like, but against these guys, like, yes, I'm trying to liberate the people of Sunnyside Spire under the terrible reign of Chet, whatever his name is. Radian? Radian. Yes, yeah. that guy. Yeah, well, uh, we don't really have an army around here. Everyone sort of keeps themselves. It's a pretty peaceful place. No one ever really wants to evade. Invade unless you're a Baku who feeds on this kind of shit. Uh, but there is something we can do for you. Any little piece can help. Uh, he uh, opens his window and lets the fog in. And that fog swoops in he opens a jar and hands it to you open mm -hmm. open this jar jar when you're ready to you know do your stuff over there in sunnyside and you know it's a jar of wonders it could summon a giant fog from it or it could you know summon a demon like the baku is this really up to chance uh, it's a bit random around here in Dreamsville. Our tagline is making all your dreams come true. Oh, great. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, I, oh, I, I guess. Um, it's a small chance you'll summon a demon. Most likely you'll get some sort of, you know, friend. I, I once used it and I summoned an earth, goal, uh, earth elemental and he's my best bro. Hey, sup? I was upstairs. Did you call my name? I was just talking <laughs> about how much you were my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, man. I'll see you later. Hey, uh, do you have any money I can borrow? <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, my best uh, bromigo. I really wish you'd stop giving him money. He doesn't <laughs> even pay rent. Uh, 
I'll do what with my money as I please. But it's my money too. It's it's my money. Whatever. Anyway, thank you for your help. Please leave our house. I really hope this jar this this jar of fog is worth it. It will be. All right. So, all right. Well, now we got that out of the way. Yep, you're Let's back go. outside. Where are you heading now? Well, if I'm not leveling up, this is Washington. All right, you head to Sloshington. Uh, we'll make Sloshington real quick. You head to Sloshington. Um, and... we're we're gonna rest on the way there. Okay, you do so. The goblins sort of act as your night crew. They take you across the river, uh, via the floating wagon, and then in Sloshington. Uh. Uh, you know, a a tiny uh orc child is there. He looks drunk off his ass, and he's like, "Who are you, what? You little lazy lizard, bitch." Mm, he's just there... looking at you. It like people are already drinking around here. It's just a town of drunks. Um, I find I want to speak to your elder, elder, leader, mayor. Who who's in charge? Oh, uh, you want to talk to the barkeep? Of course, the barkeep. All right, <laughs> how many taverns are there? Uh, give me a, a minute. Dog, dog a wants lot. to go out. Dog wants to go out again. All right. All right. Ah, uh, damn. You know what we should have done, Connor? Yeah. For the two heads, dudes. Yeah. It should have been like it should have been like for one dude I rolled a 14 for the other one for the other head it was a 32. Yeah. That would have made much more sense. But then again, I guess that technically did happen cuz one barely believed me. Um uh, anyway, yes. So taverns is the barkeep. I assume is the biggest tavern the uh am I looking for the biggest tavern? Uh you're not sure. You keep entering, you know, taverns. It's like, do you run this place? And the barkeep's like, no. <laughs> uh you oh. might Okay then uh I go into the next one and go, Do you know who runs this place? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh should I just roll to find? Yeah, roll me. Uh, I believe it would be a history roll. Okay. All right. So, uh, you go around and you find. Uh, give me one moment. I'm gonna pull up his name real quick. I have unfortunately almost have forgotten it. Uh, oh my god. Did they get rid of it? I hope not. I really hope not. All right.
All right. There's a a fat drunk orc wearing leader hosen and a uh in a in a feathered cap sort of snoring on the ground in front of an, uh, another major bar. Uh he's blocking your way into the entrance. Uh, uh, sleepy sleep. Uh. He's blocking your way in. Um like like blocking blocking or like he's sleeping right in front of the door. And he's covering is he covering the entire door? No, just the bottom part. You could step over him, but it's like a big awkward step. You know. Um, like you're gonna have to like really lift that leg over it. <laughs> him. Would he mind? Is he is he protecting this place? Uh, you can smell alcohol in his breath. That doesn't tell me anything. He drunk as shit. <laughs> okay, then. Um, I'm gonna. I want to vault over him. Roll me acrobatics. All right, and that was a 20. Yep, you're able to jump over him. As you enter patrons of the bar, you enter a uh, clap. Uh, and there is a siren man, a bird, uh, sort of a bird man, but more human looking. Okay. He's got a beak for a nose. Uh, looks at you. So, uh, what can I do you for, sir? Um, are you the, are you the, uh, leader of Slashington? Oh, God, people keep calling me that. Uh, I guess, yeah, my name's Jack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Jack. Yeah, we had, uh. Uh, what brings you to our neck of the woods? Um, I'm on. Uh, okay, instead of repeating myself, uh, can I? Uh, I basically uh, repeat my spiel over at uh, Dreamsville. Holy Quest, God of Vermos. Yep, yep, yep. Heard this stuff before. Uh, and uh, oh, attempt an overthrow Chet Radian. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. I can tell you now, buddy, uh, we had uh, a little lady, or not lady, uh, you might, hmm. yeah, I don't know if we got anybody who would be willing to do that. I mean, you could ask people, mm. they might follow you. There was a group of outriders uh, not too long ago, uh, they usually sell people into slavery. There were a group of centaurs who did that. Uh, they've been recently disbanded. I, uh, you know, I guess one of their former members went AWOL or something. Eh, ain't much. Uh, I guess, I guess I could find you a few guys. Uh, a few guys or, uh, supplies to aid us. You know, supplies, uh, I think I might have something for you. Because... Like Connor, I'm not gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you here. Yeah. All I imagine getting from this place is like a fuck ton of Molotov cocktails. Uh, and that's what he kind of gives you. He's like, okay, here's what I got for you. He uh motions you to come into a back room. All right. Uh, he shows you. Uh, big. Okay, whatever that was. Uh, <laughs> sorry he takes you in the back room and he shows you uh, a big a big room sized barrel he's like you see this uh, this yeah. is fermented dragon blood fire dragon blood here give me one minute I gotta go check on the dog alright
Well, we're here again, folks. We're here again. Performing for you. We're going to end this session pretty soon. Oh, get back. Hello? Hey, I'm here. Yeah, there we go. So, fermented dragon, fire dragon blood. Yep. So, uh, about like maybe uh, thir like thirteen or so years back, we had uh, Incinidarius came by. Uh, well, not really Incinidarius. Uh, more of uh, some underdark folks came by. They uh, started bombing the place. We managed to uh, collect the. Uh, how do I put it? Uh, some of the stuff that they had. I like to call it fermented fire dragon blood. It adds a little bit air mysteriousness to it. But the thing is super potent. Extremely flammable. And I, you know, I got some pretty hard drunks here who are willing to try it if they pay up the coin. Most of the time, uh, it ends with them being sick for a few weeks. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to get rid of the stuff. So, if you want to take this with you, I will warn you, it's, uh, it's like being attacked by a dra dragon, pretty much. Once you launch it in the air, this thing spreads <sighs> like crazy. We might it might just be what we need. All right. Um. So you get it loaded up into your cart. Um. Well, first, uh, actually, it's actually here. Um. So yeah, we're going to get it loaded up in the cart at some point later. I'm just going to tell the go going to order the goblins to get this into the bottles. Get this in the bottles and uh, throw throw ready. Yeah. But not lit, please. Yeah, they start uh, putting it in bottles. Uh, they're able to find a bunch around town that are empty, like beer bottles and whatnot. And tankards. Uh, they have them sealed and have them in the back. And, and then it's... Uh, where to next? Aligar? Where to next? Oh my gosh, that was like surprisingly easy. Yeah, no, we don't want it. It will launch a you know light our place on fire. So if you could get rid of it, that'd be great. Well, okay. Uh, there's not much left to do other than like, cause like, there's, I'm Avagard, Avagard. We I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. Teeny Grove, there's nothing there. Yeah. Literally, if we went to Pittsburgh, it'd be like literally choosing to explode myself. Yep. Um, okay. I'm going to head back to Hillweedia. All right, you do that. Who are you? Uh, and you round, you know, is this um, one? Hill is this I guess like Hillweedia, because like we always like, because essentially I've all, I've impro I've chosen to pretty much make a uh, queef's Queef's the workshop, my my work base, my home base. Queef's there. Oh, what do you want now? Uh. <laughs> we need we need to re we need to gather our thoughts before we make our final before we make our final move. <laughs> yeah, the only thought I see around here is you. Any, any, well, anyway, uh, what? <laughs> what? No, nothing. The uh, only thought I see around here is you. Yeah. That's like, if that's, I'm, I'm if that sorry. Be... I'm I'm sorry. That was that, that was rude. that was not even a good pickup line. No, no, it's it's not even that. It's I was just a little frustrated. It's been a while. Uh, look, uh, businesses have been really that good since you've left. I'm actually probably gonna leave. Hmm. You're welcome right. to stay for a little bit. No, that's what we were planning to do. Uh, well, so like, 
Oh, you right just now. weren't going to ask. You're just going to do it. Okay, cool. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, I felt like we built this relationship by now. Uh, whatever. You're good. <laughs> I felt like we built built this special relationship by now to where I could just crash here as I let myself in. <laughs> okay, you can just not put your feet on my coffee table. Thanks. <laughs> so, all right. Um, so let's see. Okay, we're going to go over the list. Um, so, mm-hmm. uh, places we've gone to, and he'll over in Hillweavia, we've co- we've collected, we've, we've completed three bounties, and we've also gotten the goblins with us. Yep. Um, after that, we made our way down t- down through Fort Downhill, Spinal Top Library, and Beluga Bay. No, we didn't find anything in Beluga Bay. Didn't really care much about it. Yeah. Unless we can like somehow get the power of the navy to attack the opposite side of Sony's side spire, but uh, that's like covered. But that's like completely covered. Mouth, a, so it's useless. Yeah, it's pretty useless. So we went. We went through. We went. We went to that goblin place where we got the uh, where we met Archibald as a goblin. Where I met Archibald as a troll. Yep. And Archibald. I'm gonna kill. <laughs> And I'm gonna kill him after I could do everything. Yep. <laughs> we went to Gabraska. We got people there. I didn't bother the lab of the hanging five because apparently that asshole is over there. Yep. Heaven Tide is literally not on my side if I told him what was happening. Yeah. Um then we went to Dreamsville. We just took. We already know what happened there in Sloshington, where we got some pretty, pretty great firepower. Yeah. We never went to Pittsburgh. We never went to Pittsburgh because we didn't think. Because I don't think it's good. Because one, you just told me there are just demons there, right? And they're assholes. Yeah. Eh, kinda. They're they're more of they do a job, which is recycling souls. So hell. Yeah, kind of, where, you know, when you die, your soul has the potential of going there, where they take your soul and reincarnate it into something else. Maybe a new person, maybe grass. (laughs) Yeah. Well, it's random. Well, we never went to Pittsburgh. So we came back. That's when we came back to Hillweavia. And now we're just looking at. I'm just like having everything laid out, yeah. Laid out in like a, in like a, a post board, yeah. With all with everything and just like a- asking myself, am I ready to invade? Am I ready to uh, invade Sunnyside Spire? Well, boss, are you? We've we've made it this far. Um, I believe in you. You'd probably make it a better place. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only other places I could think of going would be Yana, Gui, Guni, and Oskio, but those are... Oskio, and That's a really weird uh, place to go, though. Yeah, and it's also in the air. You would need an airship. We don't have an airship. Yep. All right. I mean... Would it be worth going there, Connor? Tell me. Uh, I have nothing planned there. I was just assuming you were going to go to <laughs> Sunnyside Spire. <laughs> I'll be real. All right, then. <laughs> Let's say, change it up. We're going to Yanaguni Yos Asio. No, no, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, no. Um, we're going to... All right. If... We're we're gonna go with Sunnyside Spire. We're gonna we're gonna assemble the troops. We're gonna assemble the troops. All right. So, you... um, oh, actually, ahead. wait. Was there? What do we know about Sunnyside Spire? Do we know? Have I done research in the Sunnyside Spire yet? Uh, I mean, you live there. So I. So I have the I have the hometown advantage. Yeah, a little bit. 
So that means I can tactically plan this out. Okay, great. Fantastic. You know where his castle is. You know where he's sitting. I know where he's sitting. I know the castle. I know the places to go. I know how to get in. Yeah. You're good. All right. We're going to go do it. All right. Uh, yeah. Assemble the troops. We're All ready. All right. We're about uh, as ready as we can be. A week or two pass by. Your troops from Cobraska. Uh, you know, your your goblin boys. And uh, you know, all the stuff you've collected are approaching the gates of Sunnyside Spire. Are we going to do it now? Uh, I'm I'm gonna say it's been like a week or two of this calling everyone up and getting everyone planned. Or I know, but I mean, I monder- for this session, are we actually gonna do this oh, no. now? No, I'm just setting up for next session. All right, armies um, are li- the army is lined up outside. All right, we are literally hitting the end game. All right, we ready? Um. So everyone's here. Yep. All right. Great. Twinkie gives you a thumbs up. Give me a minute. Dog's uh, whining at me again. All right. All right, let's go. All right. And there is a charge as your troops approach the gate. Well, here, um, how, how... Well, real quick, let me back up. We'll talk about the war- battle plan next time. Mm-hmm. Because we've been going for a while now. Yep. All right. Well, this has been fun. I'm going to upload this later. Uh, Great. All right. I'll talk to you later, Ben. Oh. Oh, you just stopped recording? Oh, no, no, no. Wait, real quick. Plug your shit if you have shit to plug. Uh, uh, no. I, I, I don't have anything to plug yet. All right. Well, this is Boosh slash Connor slash your DM and uh, GM, whatever you want to call it. And this has been Gods of Night. I hope you've had fun uh, and, you know, listening. We're almost the end game. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.